Politics of Guinea Politics of Guinea takes place in a framework of a presidential representative democratic republic, whereby the president of Guinea is both head of state and head of government of Guinea. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the National Assembly. A military dictatorship, led by then-Lieutenant Colonel Lansan Akonte and styling itself the Military Committee of National Recovery, CMRN, took control of Guinea in April 1984, shortly after the death of independent Guinea's first president, Sekou Touré. With Conte as president, the CMRN set about dismantling Touré's oppressive regime, abolishing the authoritarian constitution, dissolving the sole political party and its mass youth and women's organizations, and announcing the establishment of the Second Republic. The new government released all political prisoners and committed itself to the protection of human rights. In order to reverse the steady economic decline under Therese rule, the CMRN reorganized the judicial system, decentralized the administration, promoted private enterprise, and encouraged foreign investment. In 1990, Guineans approved by referendum a new constitution that inaugurated the Third Republic and established a Supreme Court. In 1991, the CMRN was replaced by a mixed military and civilian body, the Transitional Council for National Recovery, CTRN, with Conte as president and a mandate to manage a five-year transition to full civilian rule. The CTRN drafted laws to create republican institutions and to provide for independent political parties, national elections, and freedom of the press. Political party activity was legalized in 1992, when more than 40 political parties were officially recognized for the first time. In December 1993, Conte was elected to a five-year term as president in the country's first multi-party elections, which were marred by irregularities and lack of transparency on the part of the government. In 1995, Connie's ruling PUP party won 76 of 114 seats in elections for the National Assembly amid opposition claims of irregularities and government tampering. In 1996, President Conte reorganized the government, appointing Sidia Touré to the revived post of Prime Minister and charging him with special responsibility for leading the government's economic reform program. In the early hours of December 23, 2008, Abu Bakar Sumpere, the President of the National Assembly, announced on television that Conte had died at 6.45 local time on 22 December after a long illness, without specifying the cause of death. According to Sumpere, Gonte hid his physical suffering for years in order to give happiness to Guinea. Gonte had left the country for medical treatment in numerous occasions in the years preceding his death, and speculation about his health had long been widespread. Contrary to his usual practice, Gonte did not appear on television to Mark Tabaski earlier in December 2008, and this sparked renewed speculation, as well as concern about the possibility of violence in the event of his death. At around the same time, a newspaper published a photograph suggesting that Conte was in poor physical condition and having difficulty standing up. The editor of that newspaper was arrested and the newspaper was required to print a photograph in which Conte looked healthy. According to the Constitution, the President of the National Assembly was to assume the presidency of the Republic in the event of a vacancy, and a new presidential election was to be held within 60 days. Some pair requested that the President of the Supreme Court, Lamin Sidim, declare a vacancy in the presidency and apply the constitution. Prime Minister Suer and Diara Kamara, the head of the army, stood alongside some pair during this announcement. The government declared 40 days of national mourning and Kamara called on soldiers to remain calm. Six hours after some pair announced Kani's death, a statement was read on television announcing a military coup d'etat. This statement, read by Captain Moza Dadi's Kamara on behalf of a group called National Council for Democracy, said that the government and the institutions of the republic have been dissolved. The statement also announced the suspension of the constitution as well as political and union activity. In its place, the military said it had established a consultative council composed of civilian and military leaders. On September 27, 2009, the day before planned demonstrations in the capital city Conakry, the government declared demonstrations illegal. Thousands of protesters defied the ban, assembling in a soccer stadium. 157 were left dead after the level of violence used by security forces escalated. Captain Mosa, Dottis, Kamara told Radio France International on 28 September the shootings by members of his presidential guard were beyond his control. Those people who committed those atrocities were uncontrollable elements in the military, he said. Even I, as head of state in this very tense situation, 
cannot claim to be able to control those elements in the military. On December 3, 2009 Captain Mosadadi's Kamara suffered a head wound in an attempted assassination in Conakry led by his aide-de-camp, Lt. Abu Bakar Siddiqui Diakite, who is known as Tumba. Captain Kamara underwent surgery at a hospital in Morocco. Reports say Tumba's men opened fire on Captain Kamara late Thursday at an army camp in the city of Conakry. In a document released in 2010, an unknown source spoke with a U.S. diplomat and described the ethnicization of Guinea and the risk of conflict and violence like in Rwanda. He stated that Dadi's Kamara has recruited mercenaries from South Africa and Israel and assembled them, along with some of his own men, in Fort Karaya in the ethnically Susa region in the west of the country, while Dottie's was from the forest region to the east. His militia numbered 2,000 to 3,000 and was armed with weapons from Ukraine. The risk of conflict and destabilization threaten the entire region, he said. After a meeting in Ouagadougou on 13 and 14 of January, Kamara, Kanate, and Blaise Kampaori, president of Burkina Faso, produced a formal statement of 12 principles promising a return of Guinea to civilian rule within six months. It was agreed that the military would not contest the forthcoming elections. On January 21, 2010, the military junta appointed Jean Marie Doré as Prime Minister of a six month transition government, leading up to elections. The presidential election was set to take place on 27 June and July 18, 2010. It was held as being the first free and fair election since independence in 1958. The first round took place normally on June 27, 2010 with ex-Prime Minister Salyut Daline Diallo and his rival Alpha Conde emerging as the two runners-up fourth second round. However, due to allegations of electoral fraud, the second round of the election was postponed until September 19, 2010. A delay until 10 October was announced by the Electoral Commission, CENI, subject to approval by Sekabakan 8. Yet another delay until 24 October was announced in early October. Elections were finally held on 7 November. Voter turnout was high, and the elections went relatively smoothly. November 16, 2010, Alva Conde, the leader of the opposition party rally of the Guinean people, RGP, was officially declared the winner of a 7 November runoff in Guinea's presidential election. He had promised to reform the security sector and review mining contracts if elected. In February 2013, the Guinean opposition party announced it would be stepping down from the electoral process due to a lack of transparency over the companies in registering voters. Calling on citizens to protest nationwide, the ensuing week saw multiple clashes between police and protesters, resulting in at least nine deaths, some of those due to live fire from security forces. The protests were also a result of the previous month's political wrangling between Conde's administration and the opposition, minor protests were quelled in the street and opposition supporters were arbitrarily arrested, prompting the resignation of two Guinean opposition ministers in September 2012. This month also saw the opposition parties announce their stepping down from the National Transitional Council, which is effectively an interim parliament, and that they would also boycott the National Electoral Commission. The president of the National Electoral Commission, Lassani Kamara, also stepped down due to pressure from the opposition over his relationship with President Conde. Kamara was rumored to be his ally and a key figure in the president's rumored attempts to pre-rig the legislative polls. The week after the protests saw another minor clash between protesters and security forces after a march to mark the funerals of the deceased was dispersed by tear gas and gunfire. On March 7, 2013, the government postponed the 12th of May election date indefinitely until the political tension eased and preparations for free and fair elections should be established. Despite the election postponement, President Conde ordered a crackdown on those responsible for the violence, and on 10 March, a Guinean court ordered opposition leaders to appear at a hearing scheduled for 14 March, in which they would be questioned for their role in organizing the protests. Former Prime Minister Sigitore branded the summons as an illegal procedure for what was an authorized march and a manipulation of justice for political ends. President Alpha Conde derived support from Guinea's second largest ethnic group, the Malinke. Guinea's opposition is backed by some of the Fula ethnic group, who account for around 40% of the population. The president of Guinea is normally elected by popular vote for a five-year term, candidate must receive a majority of the votes cast to be elected president. The president governs Guinea, assisted by a council of 25 civilian ministers appointed by him. The government administers the country through eight regions, 33 prefectures, over 100 sub-prefectures, 
and many districts, known as communes in Conakry and other large cities and villages or courtiers in the interior. District-level leaders are elected, the president appoints officials to all other levels of the highly centralized administration. Since the 2010 presidential elections, the head of state has been Alpha Conde. The National Assembly of Guinea, the country's legislative body, has not met since 2008 when it was dissolved after the military coup in December. Elections have been postponed many times since 2007. In April 2012, President Conde postponed the elections indefinitely, citing the need to ensure that they were a transparent and democratic. The legislative elections took place on September 28, 2013, and President Alpha Conde's party, the Rally of the Guinean People, won with 53 seats. Guinea is divided into seven administrative regions and subdivided into 33 prefectures. The national capital, Conakry, ranks as a special zone. The regions are Boki, Farana, Konkan, Kindia, Labe, Mamu, Ansarikore, and Conakry. See also Guinean legislative election, 2013. Guinea's membership in the African Union was suspended after the coup. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.